What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to go through and we're going to walk through the process of modeling a stool in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this is an image of the stool that we're going to be modeling and basically the uh, process that we're going to follow is we're going to come in and we're going to model each one of the legs as a component. Then we're going to draw the perimeter piece at the bottom and then we're going to come in and finish it off. So let's go ahead and just get started on this thing. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to draw a canvas for one of your legs. A canvas is basically a face that you can draw on top of. So in this case, we're going to draw a two foot wide or one foot wide by two foot high rectangle, just like this. And so all we're doing with this uh, canvas is just giving ourselves kind of a work surface to work on here. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to inference down off of this midpoint um, about um, from the center and we're going to draw a six inch line on the side over here and then we're also going to draw a six inch line up on this side just like this and so that'll give us kind of this line that we can work between so we're going to come in here and we're going to draw a line with a bulge on it and so you're just going to activate the arc tool and then draw a line from this point to your center point so right here and you can kind of set that bulge so that it has kind of a nice curve off of this point. So just note whatever the actual bulge of that line is down in the bottom right hand corner. So in this case, this is a three quarter inch bulge. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the same thing on the other side, just like this. And so what that does is that gives us a nice smooth curve right along here. And then you can come in and you can erase out the rest of these lines just like this. And then uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw our circle that we're going to extrude along this path to make our legs. And so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a half inch circle just like this. So tap the C key, click on this side, and then uh, draw a circle with a radius of a half inch. And then you're going to select your circle, tap the S key to activate the scale tool, and then hold control and drag this until, so hold control and drag this point. So you can see how when you hold control, this scales your object about center. And you wanna scale that until it's about twice as long as it is wide. So that'll give us kind of the, uh, the kind of oblong shape that we want. And then what we'll do is we'll come in here and um, I don't want to do this just yet, but we will use the follow me tool to come in here and make our legs. And so what we're going to do is just drag a box across that, right click on it, and click make component. And you can just call this chair leg, just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to make three copies of this. So to do that, you're going to select your object. So just click on it, then tap the Q key to activate the rotate tool, and then click and rotate this 90 degrees and tap the control key. And you can see how when you tap the control key that creates a copy because it activates copy mode with the rotate tool. So go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees, click once, and then type in X3. What that'll do is that'll create three copies, each one rotating 90 degrees from the last one. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do now that I have all four legs on here is I'm gonna select this and I'm actually gonna rotate these 45 degrees. So I'm just gonna turn them just like this. And so what that does is now that'll allow me to draw this base piece that I'm going to extrude this along, um, along the axes just like this. So you can see how now when I come in here and I draw this path, for this base piece. Um, it's real quick and real easy to do that. And then I'm just gonna triple click on this line and uh, click make group to go ahead and put that in a group. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm, a, I'm going to make a copy of the little foot piece right here because I want, or the leg piece right here because I want this support bar to be the same size and the same material as the leg that I have up here. So I'm just gonna extrude this shape along that as well. So I'm just gonna come in here, I'm gonna edit, copy, and then I'm gonna paste a copy of that object just like this. And so then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stand it up using the rotate tool. I'm gonna to spin it using the rotate tool. And then I'll move it back down so it's kind of centered on this line, just like this. And you can see how I did all of that with inferencing. And you can see how this object is kind of centered on this line. Well, now I'm gonna take this group that I created and I'm gonna explode it. The only reason I put this path in a group was so that it wouldn't merge with this circle. Um, so now I don't have to worry about that. So now I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna triple click on my line, just like this to select it. And then I'm gonna use the follow me tool 
to extrude this object along this face just like this. And so you can see how what that did is that came in here and that extruded that line all the way along this base. And so now I'm going to reverse the faces so the correct face is facing outward and then I'm gonna group that just like this. So now I've got kind of the support base in here um, or the support bar in here. Well now I can come in here and extrude this object along these lines in order to create my legs. And so you can see how since these are components, if I click on one of these segments, the other segments highlight as well. Um, that's because these are all instances of the same component. And so if you change one, you change them all. So just come in here and triple click on this line and then activate the follow me tool and click on this face like this. And you can see how what that does is that extrudes that all the way along your path, just like this. So now you've got your legs and you've got your support piece down here at the bottom model. So the only thing we have to do now is come in here and create the top part of our stool. And so in order to do that, um, all you have to do is you have to come in here and you have to draw a circle. And you may have to, when you activate the circle tool, tap the up key on your keyboard to lock that to the blue axis, just like this. And so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a circle just like this, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna push pull that down and also up just like this and so basically what you've done is you've roughed out your little support piece in here and if you wanted to you could come in here and uh, get a little more creative with uh, drawing this as kind of like a screwed in piece or um, detailing this out a little bit more I more want to teach you the principles of creating this stool so I'm not really that worried about that right now so I'm gonna go ahead and come in here select this object and put it in a group and then uh, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select this top face and click find center. And when I click find center, what that did is that put a construction point in here just like this. So that's basically a guide point as opposed to a guide line. So now I can kind of inference off of that. But now I can come in here and I can just draw like rough out the top of my stool just like this. So I just draw a circle and then I push pull it. Um, just like that. And there's a few other things you could do if you wanted to. You could come in here and you could use an extension like round corner to kind of round off these edges of this stool. You could get more detailed with this if you really wanted to. I'm not going to at this point. Um, you could also come in here and you could color this or really do whatever you wanted to to make this look more realistic and make it look more like what you want it to look like. But the other thing you could do is you could come in here and you could push pull this this uh, support bar a little further just like this if you wanted to to make this look a little bit more realistic but anyway that's where I'm gonna wrap up this tutorial leave a comment below and let me know what you thought did you like this tutorial are you modeling things like this I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys uh, if you like this video please remember to click that like button down below if you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week if you really like what I'm doing in this channel please consider supporting me on patreon Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.